Sunstone Engineering provides a full line of weld heads for any welding application. Setting up the weld head is a simple process. This video shows the WH2125A parallel air actuated weld head setup. Tighten the welding cables to the welding power supply and to the brass hookup blocks on the weld head. Be sure to use firm pressure but do not over tighten. The electrode holders can be adjusted to a variety of orientations to help with different applications. Simply adjust the clamping bolts to rotate holders around their axes. Remember to clamp with firm pressure, but do not over tighten. Once you have adjusted the electrode holders, the electrodes can be placed into position. Use a flat surface to ensure the electrodes are on the same plane. It is helpful to resurface the electrodes to ensure the surfaces are even and smooth. Use a fine grit sandpaper of around 600. Use the stop nut to ensure only light pressure is applied to the electrodes. Pull the sandpaper gently outward while the electrodes are depressed onto a flat hard surface. Once the electrodes have been prepared, use the quick release lever on the side of the weld head to position the weld head height as desired. Plug the weld head trigger cable into the back external trigger port. Position the welding workpiece under the electrodes. At this time, it is helpful to turn on the welding unit and to turn off the welding pulses. Actuate the weld head while adjusting the electrode stroke stop nut until the small LED turns on. The goal is to position the stop nut such that the head travel turns the LED on at the bottom of the stroke. The two micrometer style knobs on the top front of the weld head provide electrode pressure adjustment. For a given amount of energy, light pressure will result in a hot weld and heavy pressure will result in a cooler weld. Electrode pressure can be adjusted independently to better match the welding properties of each electrode. The small pressure regulator allows a high pressure source, such as shop air, to be regulated down to a manageable pressure for welding. Typically 30 to 40 psi will be sufficient. The small valves on the air cylinder provide control over the downstroke and upstroke speed. It may be helpful to slow down the downstroke speed to prevent damage to small or sensitive parts. The Sunstone WH2125A weld head is a powerful and versatile tool. It can be used for high volume production or in intricate laboratory settings. For more information, contact Sunstone Engineering.